Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, January 4th, 2024. It's a wonderful day outside, and I pray that as you go throughout the day, that you will have a wonderful time experiencing the goodness of God. Our reading today comes to us from 2 Timothy 3, reading verses 1 to 5. It says, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Verse 2 says, For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, Truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. In verse 4, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Fifth and last, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. And I say, Amen. Indeed, God is amazing. I keep repeating that because it is true. God has given us his word to help guide us in the right direction. And I am personally thankful for the experience of God's words so that I can become who he intend for me to be. And so this morning we are admonished by the servant of the Lord that we live in the time of the end. And in the time that we are living in, we will see perilous times. It says perilous time shall, not may, but shall and will come. And then it goes on to tell us some of the signs that will tell us that we are living in the last days or in this perilous time. It talks about men are lovers of their own selves. Men are selfish. They are covetous. They are very proud boasters. They blaspheme the word of God. They are disobedient to parents and unthankful and just ungodly. We live in an age where people want nothing to do with God almost. We are so led astray each person to his own way, following the devil straight into hell instead of following God into life eternal it goes on to tell us that we are what we will see people without natural affection we are so unaffectionate we are false accusers we don't believe in the truth anymore we are so angry and on top of it we despise those who are trying their best to live a good life and to do what is right we don't like them so if somebody is doing something good, we are offended because they are doing something good. And that speaks volume. It tells you that you don't have the right spirit. And therefore, you are heading in a direction of utter destruction on your own self. Because Satan don't keep friend and company. All he is looking for is persons to take with him to hell. So Satan is not your friend. So we should never want to be identified with Satan. Let us be identified with God because God actually wants to be your friend. God wants to be my friend. He says that what? Men love pleasure more than they love God. And don't we see that? Everything in this world speak about exalting self, not exalting God. And as believers, we cannot operate like that it says that we have a form of godliness so much person in in the world today saying they are serving 
one God or another, or saying they are serving the true God, but yet still their actions and their attitude testify that they are children of the devil. I know that's a strong term to use, but it is the truth. The Bible says that whomever we are servant to, that's who we will obey. So if we are servant of the devil, we will do the things that the devil wants us to do. And if we are servant of God, we will do the things that God wants us to do. So whatever is being said by the word of God and whatever I am saying is not to offend anybody, is not to insult anybody, but is just to help us to understand that we cannot be playing idle games with our soul salvation. We cannot be putting our own life at risk just for a little enjoyment in this world. It's not worth it. And so, as we think about the importance of God's word and how important it is for us to be saved in his kingdom, may we apply these principles, these lessons to our life so that we can reflect the goodness of God and so that we can help to make this world a better place until Jesus comes. God bless you and have a wonderful day.